Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. I have quite a bit to do today and you're gonna come along with me. I'm gonna start by cleaning out my closet. So that is gonna be quite the venture. So let's go ahead and get this day started. What do you say, King? Are you ready? Are you ready to start the day? I thought so. Let's, let's get started. So these are all the things that were like on the floor and on my little shelf in there that need to be hung up. I actually probably need to sort through them to see if any of that is dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Oh, no judgment, no judgment. I don't wanna hear any judgment from you guys. <laughs> And this is the closet right now. Just utter and complete chaos. That's Eugene's side, that's my side, and all that's mine. So, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Like, I honestly don't know why I let it get this way. I think just, I don't know. Maybe it's laziness. Maybe I just have other things I have to deal with and I just let it. I know there's a trash thing back here. Maybe not, but um, yeah, maybe I just have a ton of other things I need to deal with and I just don't deal with it until like the last minute or until it's like really, really bad. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna take everything out and do the Marie, Marie Kondo method and roll it up and put it back in there. Yeah. There are things that are even still in the boxes and in the haven't even opened yet because Yijing has a problem with <laughs> buying things at Costco that I don't really need. And I know eventually I'll probably wear them. I just haven't taken them out of the package just in case, you know, I finally decide, hey, you need to return these. Because I do need things every once in a while, but not all the time so like i have a pair sh two pairs of shorts and like three black shirts or is it two no it's three shirts that i haven't even opened yet so yeah okay let's let's do one drawer at a time shall we and so lately like a uh, something happened a few weeks ago that i'm not quite ready to talk about but like since then, I feel like my life is just kind of, I don't know, I feel like I've been so lazy and so just not motivated to do things just because my emotions are just so all over the place. And whenever my emotions are all over the place, I don't really want to do anything. I don't feel like doing anything and it just, nothing gets done and so things just pile up. And you know, and it's okay to feel all those feelings, but you can't, I'm one of those people, if I dwell too long, yeah, like I said, if I dwell too long, nothing ever gets done. And so I, lately I have been trying to come up with like a goal setting plan to get me back into my, like my routine, if it ever really was a routine. And yeah, and, and it's, funny because I'm one of those people that will hyper focus. I'm not ADHD or I might have ADD tendencies, but like I do tend to hyper focus on things that I want and want to achieve. And um, 
so lately I've been really hyper focusing on like setting goals and like monthly goals and weekly goals and daily goals. And okay, it's good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was thinking of doing like a, a monthly reset to kind of go over what I want to achieve throughout the month. But I just need to figure out what those goals are and if they're attainable for me. Which is a little hard because I just want to do everything. And it just is sometimes they're not realistic. I need to wash that. And do I need to wash you? No. Okay. Sometimes like whenever they're clean, like I'll try it on if I want to wear it that day. And I'm like, eh, I don't want to wear it. So I just throw it on top of here. <laughs> um, so anyway, I don't really remember where I was. I need to hang that up. What's a hang up? But uh, yeah, just a lot of things going on. A lot of goals that I want to set, but I have to realize some goals I need to think, you know, is this attainable for me to do in a month? So, yeah, just trying to take back control a little bit of some of the things that I can do around the house and just be a better wife and, you know, have a better outlook on the future, so. Yeah. It's looking a lot better already. I'll spare you the looking at my underwear and stuff. Y'all don't need to see that. Make sure they all... <laughs> we have, I have a bunch of these Harry Potter sh uh, socks. Eugene and I went to like a white elephant party or like Christmas get together and Eugene won Harry Potter socks. He likes Harry Potter, but he's like not a diehard fan. All right, Eugene walked in and he was not appropriately dressed because he just got out of the shower. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so he got these socks and he's not, a, like he likes Harry Potter, but he's not like a diehard fan. And so he just gave them to me to wear. And there are so many that I have only maybe worn a couple and they're kind of like winter socks. So I can't really wear them right now. But anyway, they're super cute and I'll probably wear them all this winter. If we freaking get a winter because it's so stinking hot this summer. Sometimes when it's a really hot summer, we get a pretty mild winter. But we'll see about that. Okay, it looks a lot better than it did, but it's not perfect. But let's have a little closet tour. These are all my bags. There's a swimsuit I don't really know what to do with. And then a bunch of empty hangers, all of my pants, and then my sleeveless, my t-shirts, my blouses, dresses, and then long sleeve and then sweaters and coats. This is all you jeans. And those are all of my shoes up there. Those are winter things. So like hats and scarves and gloves. And then there's my wedding dress that I had preserved. I don't really 
want to put into storage. It's just pretty right there where it is. But yeah, it's not a big closet. It's the master closet and it's not very big. Those are some bags and stuff that we use frequently to like travel. So I just kept them right there. And then the thing that I organized earlier and all of that, yeah, that's it. Hey everyone, I'm back from lunch. I had a salad and an apple with peanut butter as a snack, but now it's time to continue cleaning and my next big project is cleaning our bathtub. It, we don't use the bathtub. It's that thing there. We don't really use it all that much just because we're shower people, but, um, yeah, and I looked in it the other day and I'm like, oh my God, it's so nasty. Even though we don't use it, it needs to be clean. And so that's what I'm going to do now. I have my good old, never mind the toilet seat on the floor. We're kind of like redoing a few things in our bathroom. And that was like the only place that my husband thought it would be good to keep the old toilet seat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to him about that. Anyways, I brought my vacuum cleaner in here to get all the dust and gross stuff off and then I'm going to just clean it. Uh, and maybe once it's clean, I might actually use it for a bath, who knows? But okay, let's, let's do this. Okay, so I'm... A bunch of this stuff is like really hard to get off and it wouldn't even get sucked up in the vacuum cleaner. So I have some bathroom cleaner. Hopefully it can get a bunch of this off. And we'll see. I'm just gonna cover them up here. Bring the whole thing. Shave my legs in here. <laughs> There's a lot of hair in here. Oh my god. So gross. And that's all I have for you guys. I'm officially pooped out. I did both of the bathtubs. I arranged the closet. I did the dishes. I did some laundry and I still have a lot more left to do, but I'm going to leave off 
on a high note that I accomplished a few things that I had on my monthly to-do list, so that's a huge bonus. I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and hit that little bell button to know whenever I upload next, and I will see you all next time.